Secretary General Ban Ki-moon calls the UN's momentous new goals for global sustainability development a defining moment in human history. Tell us more. Yeah, Susan, you're absolutely right. Basically, these new sustainable development goals are replacing the Millennium Development Goals of the past 15 years, which reduced poverty. By the way, China sailed past that because of its economic growth, lifting 100 billion people out of poverty in China, but also helping the region and the world because of its economic growth. Now, the Sustainable Development Goals are basically more ambitious targets for the next 15 years, tackling things like climate change, uh, making sure there's equality in terms of gender, education, very ambitious goals because they also require economic growth. But I can tell you the headlines this hour is that China is really putting its stamp on these sustainable development goals in several ways. First of all, there is the money. Uh, Beijing have announced that two billion dollars will go towards helping poorer countries achieve these sustainable development goals over uh, the next 15 years. That's initial money. They're actually going to increase that to 12 billion dollars uh, up until uh, 2015 and going into 2030. And also, remember, debt in terms of poor countries has been a big problem. There has been many conferences both here and around the world about debt forgiveness. Well, China has announced that this year it will give debt forgiveness on interest-free loans to poor countries, landlocked countries, and developing countries as well. So, obviously, Xi Jinping coming here from Washington with, uh, obviously, meetings with the two biggest economies, but really now focusing on the smallest economies and how it can develop. Let's take a listen. 2015 the post-2015 development agenda is a high standard list of deliverables that carries with it our solemn commitment. It is often said that the worst of any plan is in its implementation. I therefore call on the international community to redouble their collective efforts for the joint implementation of the post-2015 development agenda. First, build up the development capacities. Development, in a final analysis, is the job of the individual countries. And China's point about implementation is key here. There's a lot of cynicism, not just here in the UN, but around the world, about whether these development goals can actually uh, be implemented. But China has a lot of experience in terms of infrastructure development, and also uh, they are really focusing on not the Western developed institutions in terms of providing financing, but creating linkages in what's known as the Global South, South-South cooperation. Countries in Africa, countries in Latin America, countries in Asia coming together, sharing best practices, but also financing each other's development. And that's what he's going to be speaking about in the next hour or so.